What's up, Mena Nerds? This video is all about the terrifying FLTCH series Battle Droid. They were manufactured more than a decade before the Clone Wars by the creepy bug species the Colicoid, whose organization the Colicoid Creation Nest would later produce the Hunter Seeker Droid, Droidica, and Scorponek Annihilator, along with several other starfighters. Originally designed to act as assassins and guards for massive shipments of Trade Federation vessels, the super-powered battle droid stood 2.3 meters, or 7.5 feet tall, more than a foot taller than even the B-2 battle droid, while its arms packed these extendable blades and had three claws on each hand, which were more than just intimidating. They actually allowed the Fletch to quickly scale buildings, rip droids and organics apart, and even punch through some lightly armored vehicles, while going through plastoid armor was like butter. And that was just its melee capabilities, but it was also known for being extremely nimble, due to these cat-like digitigrade legs, while it also packed a rocket launcher and high-powered laser cannon. Even though the B-2HA had some similar weapons, both the laser and the rocket were more powerful than the B-2s, but I think it's safe to assume that this would have been difficult to mass-produce, and cost much more than the B-1 and B-2, while also being a bit of overkill. In 33 BBY, one year before the Battle of Naboo, a human representative traveled to Surya to observe their culture, but he was also trying to turn the youth against their elders. The Syrian people were against all forms of machinery, with them literally still using animals and wind-powered vessels to travel around their world. Kayati Mundi tried to tell the youth to avoid the call to modernization, but ironically, he would come to trust his life to this droid. Effent Mon, a notorious smuggler that would later be seen in Jabba's palace, was trying to make a killing by providing black market electronics to the Syrian youth, and hoped that this assassin droid could eliminate one of the most vocal conservative Syrians. He underestimated Coyote Mundi, and after an intense battle in which lasers and rockets were fired, Mundi was able to disable this droid. Mon was able to escape with a group of youth that were eager to leave their simple lives behind, but the only problem was one of these was Mundi's daughter. The Jedi needed to track them, and so he had to seek out the services of a human merchant who lived in the city set apart for offworlders, and thus had access to regular technology. He provided Mundi with a ship, as well as three prototype droids, but he was shocked to see that the pilot was actually the reprogrammed Fletch droid. The pilot programming was added to his existing combat protocols, and Mundi and his murderous droid companion were able to chase Mon from the ship, down to Tatooine, and eventually rescue Mundi's daughter. Though we wouldn't see more from this line of droids, as the CIS needed something that was easier to pump out in massive numbers, Still, one more of them would be seen during the Clone Wars, as an FLTCH droid chassis would be used by another Jedi. Frick Rand started life as an immobile living crystal, a member of the Shard species, but when they started to be offered droid bodies for land, he went out to explore the galaxy in his new badass power suit. He was trained by Jedi Master Akinos, who actually gave him his name Frick Rand after an old Republic-era lightsaber crystal, but despite his training in battle droid chassis, General Grievous was able to slay him in the fungi forest of Zegoba. That would be the last time we see the FLTCH series, but this unique droid story tells us how organics and droids can both better each other, with an old technophobe learning to appreciate droid life, and a violent droid going from murderer to rescuer with just a few upgrades, and this frame designed for war would house one of the most misunderstood species in the galaxy as he became a warrior for peace, with the Iron Knights. So that's it for the FLTCH series Battle Droid. If you want to connect with us, help support this channel, or pick up some of the material referenced in this video, be sure to check out the description down below. But most important of all, remember, even the scariest droids can change, and the Force will be with you, always.